since I did a video, and that's because it has been quite some time. And that's partly because of all this COVID-19 stuff that's going on. It's been a very disrupting force in our lives. Um, for the last, I would say, week and a half, like really, really serious stuff's going down. So I don't want to talk too long today, but I just wanted to update you on my progress. I am down 37 pounds today. I my BMI is now 34. Um, yesterday I had a really challenging day and I had another one of those days where I'm not sure if it's based on something I ate or whatever, but you know, just sort of off stomach, uh, off everything. You know, even water was hard to drink, but still uh, not as bad as some of um, some of the days that I had before that. So it does seem to have gotten better. I'm just looking at my notes now. Uh, we are, um, Ian and I, we are self-quarantining ourselves, not because of, you know, that we have to, but we are just trying to stay away from people. So really, we haven't been out of the house, except I go out for a 30-minute walk every day by myself, and I definitely don't see anybody or talk to anybody or you know, do any of that stuff. So... Uh, oh, and I would urge you to do the same if you don't have to. One thing I'm noticing is I do have really low energy. Uh, not sure if it's just because, you know, it's been like almost two months of very low calories. And, uh, you know, I guess when you've lost 37 pounds um, on 800 or so calories a day or even fewer, it takes a toll on your body so that's that's been tough like even getting my daily activity in has been a little bit challenging because sometimes I do something and then I'm just so freaking fatigued that I gotta sit down I need to be you know mobile only for a short period of time that's all I can handle I have to say I am getting rather tired of eating the same food. I feel like um, for someone who loves vegetables, this protein first approach I find very difficult because I would like to just have some vegetables. I like to have vegetables for about 10 days in a row now, screw the meat. If I, if I didn't have to have another piece of meat again, I would be not unhappy about that. But I'd really freaking love to have a salad. Yesterday I did make some homemade pizza and I did manage to make it uh, a small round pizza for myself about the size of, a, of the bottom of a pie plate and I cut it in half and I ate half of it for supper and it was quite nice. I put some onion and some peppers and some mushroom and some turkey bacon and some cheese on it. Uh, I mostly enjoyed it but again because yesterday was a day of altered taste you know, eh. didn't enjoy it as much as I used to enjoy my food, but I guess that's, you know, going to change too. I hope that everybody's doing well. Um, I'm going to continue to keep doing my best every day. Uh, now that everything's cancelled, it's going to be up to me to sort of add back some of the things into my routine that I was enjoying before, like some meditation. Uh, yoga is canceled, so I'll try to do some yoga here at home. Um, I'm wearing one of my new shirts today. Um, down three sizes from the last uh, time I went shopping, so that's really nice. I had to buy some new undergarments, some new bras, because my other ones were too big. And uh, I can really tell looking in the camera here at my face that, uh, you know, I'm down a lot, which is really nice. That's all I've got to share for you for now, except to say that um, I will update you on my food from Bariatric Pal. I think I pretty much wasted my $400 because everything that I've had, almost without exception, I have not enjoyed. I haven't enjoyed the taste of it, the texture of it. I find it too sweet. Uh, 
I don't know if that's going to change in time. I just feel like dumping the whole lot, but I think I'll hang on to it just in case something happens and um, and I have to use it, especially right now. You never know. But uh, yeah, that's been my experience. I would not do that again. I think I would have just skipped that whole bariatric pal thing. But you never know till you try, right? And I was trying to be a little proactive, but I guess it didn't work out. That's the chance you take. Okay, um, feel free to leave me some comments. Would love to see those. I want you guys to take care of yourselves. Everyone out there, wash your hands. Not just, you know, two seconds under the sink. Like, wash them really well. And don't put yourselves or your families at risk. You know, stay home. Do what you can do from home. And until this passes, you know, be well. Bye. beginning with the beginnings like this this is what makes you think why why did I do this why am I torturing myself if I'm just gonna you know go up on the scale <sighs> mm -hmm.